For decades, Chad has maintained a strong alliance with France, relying on French military support to bolster its internal security and political stability. Under the leadership of late President Adris Deby, this alliance was a cornerstone of Chad's foreign policy, shaping its relations with the West and defining its strategic positioning in the region. However, Chad's decision to pursue closer diplomatic relations with Russia represents a deliberate shift in its political calculus. Amid rising anti-French and anti-Western sentiments across Africa, Chad's leadership may see an opportunity to diversify its diplomatic partnerships and assert greater autonomy on the global stage. By engaging with Russia, a major player with its own geopolitical interests, Chad hopes to broaden its diplomatic options and strengthen its position in regional and international politics. This move highlights Chad's evolving political strategy and willingness to adapt to changing global trends, which has the potential to reshape Africa's geopolitics. Despite assurances of support from France and Western countries, such as the United States, Chad's President Mohamed Deby's decision to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow on January 24 raises questions about his motivation for seeking diplomatic relations with Russia. This unexpected move comes amid increasing Western pressure and demonstrates Chad's desire to broaden its diplomatic ties beyond traditional Western allies. Chad's historical role as a linchpin of French geopolitical strategy in Central Africa means that the decision to engage with Russia has significant implications for France. For decades, Chad has been a strategic ally of France, providing a base for military interventions and contributing significantly to France's regional influence. France's strategic location has allowed it to monitor its former Central African colonies, ensuring stability and protecting its interests in the region. However, Chad's outreach to Russia suggests a possible shift in its foreign policy priorities and strategic alliances. This move could reflect Chad's desire to assert greater independence in its foreign relations and reduce its reliance on traditional Western patrons, potentially altering the dynamics of France's influence in Central Africa. For example, in the 1960s and 1970s, France intervened to support the Chadian government forces fighting the Frolinat. Hissini Haber rose to power in 1982, thanks to French support. When Andrus Deby deposed Haber to take power, France did not intervene. Instead, they supported him and did so for 38 years, until he died. France was also responsible for assisting his son, the current president of Chad, in seizing power via a military coup following his father's death. So look at this. Looking back on Chad's history since independence, one constant has been France's presence and interventions. The reason for this is that France values Chad highly due to its strategic location, from which it monitors the Sahel and Sahara region and dispatches troops for regional interventions. Chad's importance as a French ally grew after a wave of coups swept across the Sahel, affecting Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali, and forcing French troops to leave these countries. This expulsion of French troops made Chad the last country in the region to host French troops, increasing its importance because French deployment in Chad helped to project France's military power in the Sahel, while also portraying France as a leading actor on the continent. This means that France no longer wields much power over Chad, and the Chadian government can do whatever it wants, including the opposite of what France wants. This was evident in early 2022, when France insisted that President Deby recuse himself from running for president and appoint Sakshis Masera as prime minister. However, Deby refused and France had no choice but to accept it because there was a risk of Chad expelling French forces, which France wanted to avoid at all costs. Furthermore, Chad's strategic importance to France currently dictates that if France wishes to remain in Chad, it must support Chad regardless of the circumstances. In addition to this, anti-French sentiment has begun to spread in Chad, as it has in Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. There is a growing demand among Chadian citizens and political lights for French troops to withdraw completely from the country. A coalition of activists, including the Wakitama movement, has announced that it will begin protests if France does not withdraw its troops by the end of 2023. These activists and political elites point out France's double standards in supporting the president's unconstitutional takeover following his father's death, 
as well as how France launched deadly airstrikes on rebels in 2019. Meanwhile, their mission in Chad was purportedly to combat terrorists. This means that resentment of French forces may make it easier for opposition forces within the regime to mobilize against President Dibi, and whoever arrives will undoubtedly not be a friend of France. Putting all of this together, we can see why President Chad had the courage to fly to Moscow for an exclusive meeting with President Putin. On January 24, Russian President Vladimir Putin hosted Chadian transitional President Mahomet Idris Derby during his official visit to Moscow. President Derby's trip to Russia is only the second by a Chadian president since the country gained independence from France, and it is the first official visit by a Chadian leader to Moscow in 56 years. However, this does not imply that Chad had completely cut ties with Russia before now. Chad's president was supposed to attend the last Russia-Africa summit, but due to Western pressure, he was represented by Foreign Minister Mohammed Saleh Anadif. Also, President Dibi's father attended the first Russia-Africa summit in 2019 as Chad's head of state. Now the recent meeting between President Dibi and President Putin focused on the prospects for further developing Russian-Chadian relations in a variety of areas, as well as regional and international issues. According to a transcript posted on the Kremlin website, Putin stated that the two countries have numerous opportunities to strengthen their bilateral ties and that Moscow would double the quota for Chadian students studying in Russian universities. Security was a major topic of discussion. Chad is currently experiencing political instability and insecurity, both internally and externally. Aside from the insecurity caused by Jihadists, the Chadian government faces disruption from multiple rebel groups and opposition parties, all of which could step up at any time to take over power from the current administration. While France is currently the primary source of stability in the country, the Chadian government has decided not to rely solely on France and to seek other relationships with other countries, including Russia, to help combat insecurity and instability. According to an expert, Chad has not yet considered expelling the local French military contingent and is unlikely to do so. However, the country is interested in establishing military cooperation with Moscow which is why the visit is taking place. Aside from security, the two leaders discussed strengthening trade and economic ties. According to President Vladimir Putin, a large number of documents are being prepared to help strengthen the legal framework. So far, economic relations between Russia and Chad have been minimal, even by Russia-Africa cooperation standards. But with this meeting, things will start to change. Chad's agricultural sector is in need of Russian fertilizers, as well as vaccines and food. In addition, Chad is interested in Russian investments in the fuel and energy sectors. Chad's meeting with Russia indicates a gradual strategic shift away from France. The Chadian presidency has realized that it can no longer rely solely on France due to rising anti-French sentiments, and so, while it may not kick out French troops, there is a need to diversify relations not only with Russia, but also with other countries. According to an expert, Mohammed Debi's visit to Moscow was intended to strengthen his domestic authority, as pro-Russian sentiments are strong in Chadian society. Debi is demonstrating that he is not a French puppet by developing relationships with alternative partners, the expert added. This statement is correct because many political elites with the ability to remove President Dibi from power are upset about France's continued presence in the country. The president is using his visit to Moscow to solidify his position in power. So, what does this mean for France? One thing is certain, this meeting marks only the beginning of Chad's current diplomatic relationship with Russia, and France is not pleased with the meeting between a key ally in the Sahel and Russia, a Western rival. But can France do anything about it? The answer is no. As previously stated, Chad is extremely important to France because it is the only country in the Sahel that still houses French troops. Given the growing anti-French sentiment in Chad, France would not want to do anything that would turn the government against them. If France wishes to remain in the country, it must support the Chadian government's decision to partner with Russia while turning a blind eye. Russia has no objections to France's presence in any African country because it has a relatively flexible African policy. This is why most African countries want to collaborate with Russia, 
While Chad does not intend to remove French troops from its soil, the need for them may gradually disappear as Chad's foreign relations diversify to include China, Russia, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates. France's presence in Africa has indeed begun to fade. If Chad successfully kicks French troops out of the country, France's grip on Sahel countries will be completely broken and these countries will be free. What are your thoughts? Please let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.